Right. So, it was a last minute decision to park with Jalen today, but... Hey, what's up, guys? We had to park... This is gonna be... It's, this, I have a feeling, is gonna be hell. We yeah, had to park in the way back. Like, yeah, way we over by, no like, King Ka. Idea how and this is go. Green Lantern. This, I do well, not, not the like way, the looks of this. It's not the way back, but we're really far off to the side. Yeah, we're really far off to the side. I do not like the looks of this. I have a feeling that it's gonna be a zoo today. Oh, yeah. But yeah, next week, but we're however. See, we're just gonna see what we can work with. Here. This is only gonna prepare me for riding the bull, though, because that will guaranteed be bad. After last year, bring a friend free. Yeah. yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be terrible. So, uh, yeah, it. This looks pretty packed, but uh, yeah, we'll just make the best of it, Let's and we'll see it. you guys. Uh, yeah, we'll swing it. Okay. So this place looks pretty crowded. Yeah, and, unfortunately. Uh, it's I mean, Saturday. Ideal weather is getting towards the end of summer. I think it's like bring a friend it for. Be, it might be bring a friend for 9.99. Yeah, so. I think so. But it's not bringing a friend free. Ryan the Bull, though, I looked, is bringing a friend free. So that's yes. going to be, so that, that is going to be hell. That's going to be a disaster. Yeah, I mean, I'm still going to go, of course, because of the event. But, like, it's going to it's gonna be bad. And today is bad. I actually heard it was crowded on, like, a Tuesday. So, yep, we are definitely screwed. Yeah, but it's not, it, it, it's, it's fine. So, um, I want to explain my thoughts on Jersey Devil a little bit. So, it's it's going to go by where um, Looney Tunes Seaport is now. They're You're actually going to be actually, Looney Tunes Seaport. Yeah, I'm actually kind of sad about Jersey that because I w spent a lot of my childhood in there. But, yeah, but although I, I heard, mean, uh, it's worth it in I the end because we're finally that, getting... That area is not very good, so it's just not even worth keeping it anymore. Yeah, like, there's no music in that area. There's, like, nothing. It seems like almost yeah. abandoned it's very, area. It's a really oddly hidden area, too. Yeah, well, so I, I mean, kind of see why they're taking it out, but I'm a little sad because I spent a lot of my time there as a child. But... I'm super excited for Jersey Devil. It looks like probably one of the best new coasters of 2020. We're finally getting the best edition of the new of all the Six Flags I parks. Does, I honestly think that uh, Jersey Devil does rank about one of the best coasters that that's going to be coming to any like any of these. Oh yeah, I, I can't wait for that thing. I mean, the last coaster we got was a clone. The I last coaster we got before that was relocated yeah. pile of dog shit. I think honestly, to be honest, so with you, Jersey I Devil think, will not be either one of those. To be honest, which is I good. Think the Six Flags announcements and the Cedar Fair announcements, they basically overall suck this year. And, like, yeah, not a lot agreed. of stuff is coming to any amusement park at all this year. I mean, the I, three that does sound exciting is basically Jersey Devil, which is going to be coming here. I mean, with we the Six Canada Flags Odeon announcements. Going to park, and we also got uh, Kings Island. I mean, with the getting, Six Flags uh, announcements, with what we're getting this year, I almost feel like I have no right to complain. Well, not to mention, that's this is what whole, everyone's been asking this is our for. This Yeah. Finally getting an RMC. So I can't can wait. Literally go for this, so like, we're about to get in the park. We'll see you guys when we get in. The one ride I got in Toronto today so, um, wasn't good because I had a wheel seat. <laughs> so Kai just got off now. It was about a. It would have been twenty. It would have been fifteen minutes if it didn't break down. It broke down about five minutes. I did Orange Train in row five, which surprisingly was pretty rough last time. But today, it wasn't bad at all. Actually, I got a pretty decent ride on. It was smooth enough, and. Uh, so yeah, I'm glad I got on that. And uh, so now we're gonna go to I believe El Toro and. I was expecting a big, big line on that, but we saw the parking lot. So far, that did not too bad of a line. I mean, I'm not going to jinx it with other rides, well, but... I mean, the crowds we saw when we come into the park, like, I don't know where all that... Yeah, I'm a little... Are. I'm a little skeptical still, but, 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 like, with the fact that that didn't have too bad of a line, I'm yeah. feeling a little more optimistic than I was. So we'll just check out Toro. Hopefully, the second train's back on, because it was running one train for a while. I don't know if it still is. Pray to God it isn't. But, uh, yeah, we'll just see you guys, uh, I guess, after Toro. So Toro's back to two trains, luckily, yeah, and we only waited about, fast, yeah. it was like 15, 20 minute wait, but it was, oh my god, it was absolutely insane today. Also, we got second it, run, it was running fast, and there, the drop I was near standing, it was incredible. I mean, Toro, I have not had a single bad ride on Toro this year, and uh, so yeah, I mean, I kind of expected it to haul, but it, it definitely was hauling. Definitely say I can't wait for riding the ball next week, I'm all registered, I will be there. And so, uh, I think we're gonna head to Bizarro now, so we'll see you guys, uh, after that. We just, nice so, we just got off of Bizarro, we, it actually had a line, which I, it's not some, it's something I have not seen in a real long time, because I try to avoid Fright Fest Saturdays, because, you know, those just are not fun to be at. I'm not even at, like, any of the Fright Fest stuff, so waiting, like, an hour to get in the park for me just is not worth anything. But, um, we waited about 15 minutes for that, which, you know, overall is not bad. But as we were in the line, I think Toro some a-hole had like a call with a phone, or the ride broke down, because it has been sitting there at the top stuck for 15 straight minutes. And so, uh, yeah, that sounds like ass to me. Yeah. But um, we're just uh, walking to Lakefront now, so he can visit some of his old workers, and I'll probably get a pig while we're there. 
yeah, you're probably gonna do go one. Check out Nitro on Wonder Check out Nitro on Wonder Woman and yeah. yeah, it actually has not been as crowded as I thought. Like I thought, I thought we, were, I thought this was gonna be a bad day from the parking so lot. I mean, it's a little crowded, but I mean, Toro like, well, and Ka. Well, we're walking all the way over to the other side of the park because it's I mean, Toro way. was only in the first set of switchbacks, which is not bad at all. It was not. Falling, so it moved quick. Yeah, and Toro had two trains on, thank God. And then Ka, there was no one in the switchbacks. Ka, you were able to get right in the station. So um, that didn't take long either. So we're just walking to Lakefront now, and uh, so. Uh, yeah, we'll see you guys when we do a ride, and I'll probably even, you know, get some footage of, some last footage of Seaport. Because that's where Jersey Devil's going. A lot it's going to be scrapped next year. But like I said before, I'm kind of sad because I spent a lot of my childhood there, but I am freaking excited for Jersey Devil. Yeah, we're going to skip the lines for this, indeed. This is two hours. I'm thinking if it's this bad today, I can't not wait to see riding the ROCB next week. This is, yeah, this is Wonderman's line. Yeah, yeah this place is a right lot now. more crowded than I thought. There's Justice nice League, right here. Justice League was like well in the switchbacks. So, uh, yeah, I think I can very safely say this place is crowded. Might be packed, but maybe more like above average. But that—that's not good. No. That's not good. <laughs> That's not happening unless we get skipped line pass. It's not yeah, out of the question, but waiting in that line is no question about that. Yeah. And if so, uh. The the line pass, one woman's a nose yeah. That sucks, because I've only been on it twice. But ironically enough, the only times I've only been on it were when I was with, you know, Avery. And he's a member, he has memberships, so he gets to skip the line passes, so I've never actually waited in the line. Which is kind of funny. Yeah, so, hopefully uh. Hopefully, one of my. Hopefully, one of my older brothers tries to skip the line passes. Yeah. Hopefully. I don't know, though. So, uh, we'll see you guys, um. Eventually. Yup, it got stopped because of a phone. GP at this park are freaking morons. On uh, Skyscraper, I remember, this happens like almost every fucking hour. It's actually a big problem here. Yeah, and, and anyone who wants to argue about that with me in the comments, just frick yeah, off. That's all I'm going to say. Good if, luck. If anyone's good actually going to argue that the GP at this park are actually, you know, smart, then frick off. That's, that's all I'm going to say like, right now. If you want to argue with you guys about your phone on the drive, yeah, good luck. Try to argue with my employees here. Yeah, he actually works here, so, yeah, so he'll be dress over it. So, uh... Yeah, sucks to be them because there was a freaking idiot on the ride with the fuck. Okay, I don't know if you can hear me well because it's got nitro's going up in the background, but um, this has been an odd day for crowds. Yeah, now you're like a station way. Yeah, nitro's only a station way. Sky is like. Way. Then we're going for a front. Yeah, we're going for a front row. I've actually not done a front row ride on it this season, but from what I heard from, I heard from Avery, his front row ride was actually running really good. So I got high hopes. I mean, Nitro's been pretty crap this season for the most part, but I think that, you know, front row has a chance. And, um, so yeah, like, Buccaneer had a long line. They, however, his workers last line, which is nice. Same with yeah. Skyscreamer. They both had, like, 40-minute waits each me, 45 minutes. Wonder Woman's out the queue, if you guys saw before. Uh, Cyborg and Justice League are both at least an hour. And so, uh, yeah, but this is only a station wait with three trains running, so... I ain't complaining. Maybe we can do some marathoning on this. And so, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys when we get off. I'll um, get back to you guys on how it runs. Hopefully it runs better than it has all year. So, if you guys are wondering, this is where Jersey Devil's gonna go. You can't really see over this fence, but, like, yeah, It's probably the best you're gonna get, but this whole area is gonna be gone. Yeah, Lincoln Seaport's gonna be gone. I mean, I am gonna be sad very slightly, though, because, yeah, I explained already. I went here a lot as a child, but this area is pretty much abandoned now. There's only like a few. There's only a few rides here, and there's like no like music or anything, so it feels like. I don't know, it just. There's like no, I guess you could say, personality to it as you're walking through. And so, uh, yeah. This whole area is going to be gone, I think. I don't think all the rides are going, though. I think they'll be relocated to like Bugs Bunny National Park, I think. That would make sense because, you know. They're still gonna want some little, like little kid rides here, but like, yep, there's devils going right around here, and, and 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 that's gonna make you know this side of the park definitely a lot better because right at the current moment, this side of the park is pretty weak. Jersey Devil. All right, something is very messed up at this park today. So we waited longer for freaking Roadrunner Railway than Nitro. That's such a dumb yep, idea. Yep. Yep. <laughs> you guys just heard me. I'm not not just saying things. And we waited for the front row on Nitro 2, and we still waited longer for Roadrunner. 
that's depressing, to say the least. And so we actually did Roadrunner, and uh, so how was that for you? I know um, you're probably not as big as. <laughs> You're pro I know you're not as big as Avery, but like, still, that was... That was a dumb idea. <laughs> the stupidest thing I've ever done. I regret every second. I'm not going to say Minix was only about a minute long, but... Yeah. And But we did do the front row on Nitro. It was probably the best ride I've had on it all year. I mean, I'm not going to say that it's, you know... I still think Kyle might be better, because how smooth it's been this year. But I still got, I got a decent amount of airtime on Nitro today. I mean, it's still a bit weak, but... And I can say that Nitro's gotten progressively better. And so, because Nitro's only a stageway, like you guys saw before, I think we're going to go back there. So, uh... Yeah, we'll yeah. see how much we can get on Nitro. Yeah. And you still have a skip line pass, which, um, works for everybody except Waterman, unfortunately. So we're going to be missing on that to guarantee, because we're not waiting an hour and a half to two hours yeah, for that. It doesn't work on Kenny doesn't God, work. Wonder Woman, Justice League, and Safari. I mean, the Safari... Like, who gives a crap? <laughs> and I already did COD today, so I think... We might be good enough for that one. And uh, Justice League, I I would like to do it, but, you know, if it's like an hour line, I would be okay with skipping it. So, uh, we're going to go back to um, Nitro, and then I think maybe you skip line pass on Toro, but Toro's been down for a while. Like, we were on we were on Nitro, we did not see Car or Toro move once. And Toro was broken down for, it was stuck in Nitro, like, 20 minutes, at least, maybe 25, so, yeah. So, we'll see you guys at the Nitro. Unexpected surprise today, but it looks like someone is finally going to ride Slingshot. And so, um, he actually has a free voucher that I think it works for two people? But he said even if it doesn't, if it doesn't, he would just give it to me. So, um, looks like I'm going to do it. I'm actually really, 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 really nervous. I've never been in a Slingshot in my life, but it's, it, I've heard, I'm hearing it's really fun for all my friends that I've been on one. So, that's going to be, it's going to be nerve-wracking, but... I am excited. And so, um, yeah, it looks like Slingshot's happening. I'll get back to you guys. It was just a free voucher. I don't have to pay for it, which is really nice. So I will get back to you guys afterwards. Jake. So, Jalen and I just got off of that thing, Slingshot. And oh my god, it was one of the best things I ever rode. It was, it was insane. It was insane. I had tears in my eyes that it whole was not time. Bad with the up, I mean, I was nervous. I was actually really, really nervous. Like I don't think I've ever been nervous for a ride since my first time on Ka. Oh yeah. Like that's I, nuts. I, might be getting, I think I'm getting the iPhone S towards the end of the year. And so, um, because, uh, yeah, Slingshot was amazing. And so Avery, uh, I know I've been promising you I'd do this for a long time, and I finally did it. Hope you're satisfied. Right. Right. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're probably gonna head to Toro because Jalen right 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 got skipped line pass for the supervisor, and so. Yeah. After that, we're probably gonna head out, but oh my god, Slingshot was incredible. I definitely want to do it again. Sucks that you have to pay 20 bucks for it. Okay, so we're about to leave the park now. We just got off a night ride on Nitro, and I must say, I was probably the best ride I had all season. Even Staple, I got quite a bit of air, which I do not usually say at all for this ride, but I actually did get quite a bit of air time this time. Even Staple in the back. And, um, yeah, usually the back seat, I get pretty crappy luck on that, but today. It was pretty good. And we did a night ride on Toro. We did a pretty much dusk ride on Toro. And oh my god, it was probably the best ride I had all season. It was freaking nuts. It was falling like hell. And I was I was in a wheel seat. And it wasn't that rough. And so, uh, yeah. We were here. We got around 3 ish, about 8.30 now. And, uh, yeah, I must say, today was very good for the amount of hours we spent. We got, I'll explain them. We got on King Naka. I did King Naka once anyway. Row 5 Orange Train. I got a pretty smooth ride actually, so no complaints there. We then went to Toro. And then we did, for, we did I think, two rides to Toro all together. We did um, Bizarro once. We did uh, three rides on Nitro. Now I'm going to say all three of them were probably the best rides I've had all season. Especially that ride just now was actually in the back. Like I've said, my luck's been pretty bad in the back for the most part this year, but that was an exception. That was actually very good. And then, uh, we also, we missed on Waterman because of the line, which sucked, but it's fine. I think Riding of the Bull are getting first ride produce on it, so I'll be an R-up to me to ride it. And then, uh, we also did Sky Screamer and Buccaneer, because yeah. Jalen's, you know, co-workers let us on. Yeah, I work with the crew there. And, um, we also did, uh, oh, Slingshot, can't forget that. I already explained my thoughts, but that was... It was amazing. I've never been on a slingshot in my life until now, and yeah, it sucks you gotta pay 20 bucks for it, but that was well worth it. Oh, we did. Uh, yo. Okay, Mike. Thanks. 
So um, we didn't even pay for it. Jalen had a free voucher and we decided to do it. But, oh my God. I had tears in my I think I explained already, but I had tears in my eyes the whole time. It was one of the craziest things I ever rode. And so, uh, yeah, that pretty much wraps up for today all in all. Very solid visit for, you know, five and a half hours here. So, yeah. So, guys, I forgot to mention something that ha almost happened during the Nitro yeah. ride. It was yeah. scary as hell. I, this dude right here almost got hit in the face with a phone. I am dead ass. Yeah, somebody had a phone out in Nitro, and I think they took it out in the middle of the ride, so I don't think any of the ride outside. Yeah, I, 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 haven't, I haven't saw the phone flying. Like, I had to, like, duck my head, because otherwise, I could have gotten hit in the face with that real easily. That was one of the scariest moments I've ever had at Great Adventure in my entire yeah. life. It just shows the GP in this park need to grow the hell up. Yeah, we. I know I, thought, I sound harsh, but you know what? I kind of have to. I mean, who in their right mind would take out their phone during a ride and almost hurt someone with not it? To like, mention, take a phone out on like, a like hell's wrong hyper. with you. Like, two hours watching this, hell's wrong with you. Let me just say that. Yeah, not to mention it's a B and M hyper that goes 80 miles an hour. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean do you want to freaking lose it? Exactly. Do you want to freaking hurt someone with it? Go ahead. Yeah, like, go ahead. If you're going to hit my front, that, that, I'm like, going to kick you. I'm like, I'm going to really, like, F you up so bad. Yeah, like, that's just not okay. And so, I know you can't really see it well because, you know, it's dark and, you know, yeah, we're in the car. Also, we're in the car right now, too. But I, I kind of want to explain that. It's just not okay. So, anyone who's watching this who, you know, take their phone on a ride, you know, screw you. Yeah. Let me just say that right now. I sound harsh, but you know what? In that kind of situation, I almost got hit in the face with it. I could have gotten real hurt. I kind of have to be. So, uh... Yeah, I just wanted to put that message out there.